MoffettCountyProud.com is excited to bring you 2017 Colorado High School Basketball. Tonight's game features the Moffett County Bulldogs and the Steamboat Springs Sailors. Tonight's game is brought to you by these Moffett County Proud businesses. Severson Supply and Rental, Memorial Regional Health, Bank of Colorado, there's only one, Craig Family Dental, Victory Motors, Hatton Enterprises, Miller Family Appliance, 3B Enterprises, Sand, Gravel, and Rock Products, Cornerstone Realty, GCR Tires and Service, Precision Auto Service, 360 Insurance Company, Justin Cowcheck Agency, Mountain West Insurance and Financial Services, Kramer Flooring, McDonald's, DNP, Duran and Pierce Contractors, Cook Chevrolet, Ford, Subaru, Country Living Realty, Draper Insurance Group, Great Divide Cleaning Service, Rocky Mountain Machinery, Chaos Inc., Young Life, Epp and Associates, Rocky Mountain Automotive, Colorado Northwestern Community College, Identity Graphics, Craig Veterinary Hospital, Brass Key Realty, and Mountain Air Spray. We'll be right back with tip-off. It's Moffett County High School basketball right here on MoffettCountyProud.com. Hey, Bulldog fans, we're ready to go. It's rivalry time. It's Sailors versus Bulldogs. Bulldogs coming in as the underdog tonight. They were able to come out with a fifth place finish in that Steamboat Springs tournament. Steamboat Springs took second in that tournament a week ago. It's gonna be Nahara jumping. Both guys miss it. Somehow it's picked up by the Sailors. Bulldogs have Kale Scranton, Colby Beaver, Connor Murphy, Brent Cook, and Landon Nahara on the court to start. We're down here in uh, Steamboat Springs. Love these rivalry games. Moffat County setting up in the zone defense. Three point attempt for the Sailors, no good, but they're gonna pick up the rebound. And that was something that Bulldogs struggled with a week ago is rebounding. You gotta fight for position and not give those second and third attempts, especially against the team as quality as this Sailor team. And the Sailors are gonna get a double dribble and they're gonna turn it over and the Bulldogs are gonna have opportunity right now to strike first. And to Murphy. Murphy gives it back to Scranton. Scranton goes to the middle. Ball tipped out of there, able to pick it back up. Stolen by Steamboat. And no good on the layup attempt. Kicks it out, air ball. But another rebound by the Sailors. That time blocked by Beaver. Finally picked up by Nahara. But that's what I'm talking about. Three attempts for the Sailors, you gotta cut those down. Into Scranton. Tries to kick it over to Beaver. Ball is tipped out of there by Moffat County. Going to be Steamboat Ball. Fast and furious here in Steamboat Springs High School. Bulldogs will pick him up at three-quarter court. Sailors will bring it right across. Wide open three-point attempt. No good off the mark. Brent Cook will take it. Goes fast. Has it picked. And we got a two-on-one situation. He'll just keep it himself. That's number 20. Matt Rinker, six foot four. We are a minute and a half into this one, and the Bulldogs have not even taken a shot yet. They got to get something in the air. Beaver will do it. He draws the foul. And they're going to say it was on the floor before the shot, and the Bulldogs will throw it out from underneath. So the Sailors had probably taken at least seven shots before the Bulldogs even got one attempt off. Inside to Scranton. He'll put it up, blocked by the 6-4 anchor in there. Hard to compete when you're in the middle. Picked up by Beaver. Good job. Back to Scranton. Couldn't finish it. And Steamboat comes in, was hoping for the charge there. But no good. That time rebounded by Nahara. 2-0 lead. Bulldogs able to dodge a few bullets. Beaver takes the 15-foot jumper. No good. Off the mark. Rebound to the Sailors. And Steamboat will finally slow it down. They are a quick team. 
Got a height advantage too. Three guys sitting at 6'4", and another two at 6'3". 5.28 here in the first. They eye the three, air ball, but easy layup for the Sailors. They're not able to convert though. Right now they're having a hard time finding the bottom of the bucket with as many shots as they're getting. They'd like to have that one back. Connor Murphy will throw it in in front of the Sailor bench. Gives it to Cook. Cook th throws up a deep three. Back iron, no good. We got a push underneath. It's going to be Moffat County ball, I believe. Foul was on number 14, Aiden Noss, 6'4 junior. Sailors will steal it. And they'll go coast to coast with an easy layout. Four to zero lead for the Sailors. Beaver tries to drive the lane. Gets called with the charge and it's coming back the other way. And might have been a blessing in disguise because the Sailors were gonna take it in for an easy layout. Bulldogs set up in their two, three zone. 4-0 lead for the Sailors. Sailors with a lot of shooting attempts. Just haven't got very many to fall. Bad pass by the Sailors, picked up by Murphy. That was one of those, look what I found. And Brent Cook gonna get called with the travel. And Steamboat will bring it down again. 4.30 on the clock, 4-0 lead for the Sailors. Steamboat very quick. And they are not afraid to put up that three-pointer. Nice drive that time by number four. Jake Berry, that's the lone senior for the Sailors, and he puts it in for an easy two. 6-0 lead for the Sailors. Nahara to Cook. Cook over to Murphy. Murphy will put it up. Ball's tipped, no good. Partially blocked. Loose ball on the ground. Finally goes out of bounds, and they're gonna say it's staying with the Sailors. And we got a timeout on the floor. We'll be right back with more basketball right here on MoffettCountyProud.com. Bulldogs bringing it back and forth. And they'll get it across. Good job. Murphy takes a deep three. Had a good look. Didn't fall, though. Bulldogs still trying to break the ice. Sailors come fast. They have a wide open three. No good. Neither team able to hit it from downtown. Brent Cook brings it all the way up. Tries to shoot it inside. That's tough to do against a team this quick, and they'll pick up another steal. Wide open three attempt, that one's off the mark. And they're gonna say that's a foul on the floor and they're gonna throw it in from out of bounds. Says, there's the push before the shot, Steamboat ball. 2.05 on the clock, 8.0 lead for the Sailors. And a little discussion over at the scorer's table to make sure they got the right number on the foul. A couple of subs coming in for the Bulldogs. That'll be Kaysen Bernice and Tristan Walls on the court. Brent Cook almost picks up the steal. Ball tipped there by Walls. Sailors move the ball fast. Three-point attempt, no good. Ball's tipped around, finally pulled down by the Sailors. 
Reverse layup attempt, no good, and another rebound by the Sailors. Sailors will put up another three-point attempt from the, base, from the baseline, and that one, you can count it. 11-0 lead. Brent Cook tries to go up and draw the foul, doesn't get it, and he's gonna get called with the reach. Bulldogs right now with four team fouls, Sailors with two. Connor Etzler now comes on for the Bulldogs. You got Nahara, Bernice, Etzler, Walls, and Beaver on the court. Sailors about throw it away, but they're able to reel it back in. 60 seconds left in this first period. Almost stolen by Nahara. That time it's tipped away. Wall's able to pick up the loose ball. Gives it to Bernice. He can't handle the pass. Bounces off his chest and picked up by the Sailors. Bulldogs got to regain their composure. And that's going to be number five for the Sailors. Tyler Doan, 6'4", junior, picking up the foul, and he'll go to the line for the first three throws of the evening. Bulldogs just have to sit back a little bit, regain their composure, and get some things going. 31 seconds on the clock, 11-0 lead for the Sailors. Make it 12 as that one finds its way down. Second attempt is up, looks just like the first, and it's a 13-0 lead for the Sailors. This time Beaver's gonna take point. Bulldogs passing it back and forth, trying to break that man press, brings it across the middle, Nahara. Bulldogs have threw it away about four times trying to force that middle pass. Sailors are just too quick to do that. Three-point attempt at the buzzer. Sells way long, picked up by Beaver. He'll throw it down. Doesn't have the distance. That's going to end it. At the end of the first period, 13-0 lead for the home team. The home team being the Steamboat Springs Sailors. They are a powerhouse this year, and they are showing it. I want to say thank you to all of our sponsors for bringing you tonight's basketball. Craig Family Dental, Severson Supply and Rental, Memorial Regional Health, Bank of Colorado, Victory Motors, Patton Enterprises, Miller Family Appliance, 3B Enterprises, Cornerstone Realty, GCR Tires and Service, Precision Auto Service, 360 Insurance Company, Mountain West Insurance, Kramer Flooring, McDonald's, DNP Contractors, Cook, Chevrolet, Ford, and Subaru, Country Living Realty, Draper Insurance Group, Great Divide Cleaning Service, Chaos Inc., Young Life, Rocky Mountain Machinery, Eppin Associates, Rocky Mountain Automotive, Colorado Northwestern Community College, Identity Graphics, Craig Veterinary Hospital, Brass Key Realty, and Mountain Air Spray. We'll be right back with the second period right here on MoffettCountyProud.com. All right, Bulldogs will start it off here in the second period. Brent Cook thinks about a deep three. And then holds on to it over to Etzler. Etzler with a far pass to Beaver. Best ball movement we've seen so far by the Bulldogs. Bernice, jump shot, 15-footer. Rebound, Cook, nice rebound. Doesn't get the putback. Another rebound by Etzler. And there just has to be a lid on that basket. That was good, though. I like that series for the Bulldogs. Good job, Brent Cook. He's able to take the charge, and the Bulldogs get it right back. Like the way the Bulldogs came out. They got three attempts. They moved the ball well and they're playing tough deep. Now let's keep it going this quarter. Now have Jared Chacon on for the Bulldogs. For nice looking to get it in, having a tough time, finally gets it into Cook. Cook will get it across to Chacon. He'll give it right back to Scranton. 
and the Bulldogs will set it up. Jacone looks to drive. He tries to throw it over the six foot four Sailor, and it ain't going to happen. And it winds up being an easy layup for the Sailors. Cook drives baseline, puts it up and in, and the Bulldogs finally break the ice. We needed that, 15-2. Nice baseline drive by Brent Cook. Steamboat drives baseline, air balls it, but you can do that when you got a six foot four arsenal right beside you that's able to pick up that rebound and put it in. Timeout, Moffat County, 17-2 lead for the Sailors, 6.34 left here in the first half. Jason Bernice drives it in, gives it to Cook. Cook has an open three. Had a good luck, just couldn't get it to fall. Rebound to the Sailors. And that one's going to be on Nahara. And two shots coming up for the Sailors. Tyler Doan will do the honors. First free throw is good. Second free throw is also good. On the court for the Bulldogs is Bernice, Scranton, Cook, Chacon, and Nahara. And the Bulldogs finally able to break the press. Cook with a nice pass over to Scranton. Bernice, 15 foot jumper, he'll hit it. And the Bulldogs got something going. 19-4. That shot's off the mark. Rebound to Scranton. He'll take it all the way across midcourt by himself. Gives it to Chacon. He don't waste any time, and he lets it fly. Three-pointer, and the Bulldogs got a good second period going. Good ball movement by the Sailors. And they're gonna call another foul on the Bulldogs. Two shot foul, they're gonna call it on Nahara again. And Doan's back to the line once again, perfect on his free throws. And that puts Nahara at three fouls already in, here in the second period. And Dome stays perfect from the charity strike. The Harrell come out, Beaver comes on. Next free throw, finds its way to the bottom and it's a 21-7 lead for the Sailors. Bulldogs will break the press, kick it over to Chacon. That one's blocked and picked up by the Sailors. Long pass by the Sailors. They'll sit and take the three, no good. Bounces right back to him and he'll drive the lane. And the putback by number 20, Matt Rinker. Granton to Bernice. Bernice finding himself trapped, somehow able to get rid of it. Loose ball though, get, gets picked up by the Sailors. The Bulldogs just couldn't handle it. Another three point attempt by the Sailors, no good. And the Sailors are gonna get called for a push. Gonna be Bulldog ball, 23-7 here in the second. 4-11 on the clock. 
And Chacon will find his way back to get a breather as Murphy comes back on for the Bulldogs. And Murphy loses the handle on it. Those are the ones you'd like to have back. Had a good pass. Brent Cook gets it out of there. He puts up the steal. Wide open. Brent Ice able to put in the layup. Good transition for the Bulldogs that time. Three-point attempt. No good. Sailors aren't afraid to throw up that three-pointer, but so far they've only hit one, I believe. 23-9 lead for the Sailors. Nice drive by number four, the senior, Jake Berry. Adds another two. And they're gonna call another foul on the Bulldogs as Brent Cook picks up his second. Deep three-point attempt off the front of the iron. Picked up by Cook. Sailors will just drop back on defense this time. No type of press at all. Brent Cook, 15-foot jump shot. Nothing but net. 25-11. Sailors will reverse it. Inside to the big man. That was Aiden Krause, Aiden Noss, six foot four with an easy layup. Nice jump shot by Beaver. Bulldogs answer that time. 27 13, under two to go here in the first half. Air ball by the Sailors. Tipped out of there. And they're going to say Sailors are going to keep it. 144. Much better second period for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs were shut out in that first period. They've got 13 here in the second. Another bucket for the Sailors. So, so far in the second, the Sailors have 15, I believe, and... The Bulldogs 13. So Bulldogs playing much better here in the second. As I say that, the Sailors drop a three and they widen this lead. Murphy to Beaver. Beaver drives baseline. Nice shot. Oh, not able to get it. Bounces around. Fights hard for the rebound. Isn't able to pick it up. Sailors will slow it down as we're approaching one minute left in the half. Sailors working it around the top of the key. Bring it in the middle, kick it back out. Three point attempt. And it's good, and now the Sailors are starting to heat up as they've hit a few threes in a row. They'll get another steal, easy layup. Bulldogs gotta be ready for that, let's go. That's how you break it, keep it going Bernice, take it all the way. Nice, good job Bernice, go. We'll see if he gets the and one or if he calls it on the ground. I see it. Continuation. He made it and he's getting the and one. Nice job, Casey Bernice.
Free throw attempt is no good. Rebound goes to Steamboat. Steamboat gonna hold on to it for one last attempt. 14 seconds on the clock. Three-pointer, no good. Bouncing around all over the place there. Jason Bernice will pick it up. Not enough time to get off a shot. 37 to 15, Sailors lead at the end of the first half. I want to say thank you to all of the sponsors that bring you Moffat County basketball right here on MoffatCountyProud.com. Craig Family Dental, Severson Supply and Rental, Memorial Regional Health, Bank of Colorado, Victory Motors, Hatton Enterprises, Miller Family Appliance, 3B Enterprises, Cornerstone Realty, GCR Tires and Service, Precision Auto Service, 360 Insurance Company, Mountain West Insurance, Kramer Flooring, McDonald's, Duran and Pierce Contractors, Cook Chevrolet, Ford, Subaru, Country Living Realty, Draper Insurance Group, Great Divide Cleaning Service, Chaos Inc., Young Life, Rocky Mountain Machinery, Eppin Associates, Rocky Mountain Automotive, Colorado Northwestern Community College, Identity Graphics, Craig Veterinary Hospital, Brass Key Realty, and Mountain Air Spray. Make sure to say thanks to all of our sponsors for bringing you Moffat County Basketball. We'll be right back. Steamboat's gonna start with it the second half here. Much better second period for the Bulldogs. They started off with that 13-0 deficit in the first, but were able to put 15 on the board in the second. That's the kind of scoring you gotta keep up. Gotta limit the turnovers as well. Sailors will start it off with a three-point attempt off the front. Goes right to Beaver. And he'll kick it to Cook. Cook gives it to Scranton. Scranton with a nice drive. Oh, almost gets the and one. That's what I want to see more of. Good job, Kale Scranton. Saw a lane and he took it. And now he's got himself an opportunity at the free throw line. First one's up and good. Second free throw, no good. Rebound to the Sailors. They'll bring it down quick. Fast transition by the Sailors and it gets them an easy bucket. They're gonna call Cook with the push. Or no, they're not. They're gonna call it on the Sailors with the push. Nice pass by Cook over to Scranton. He'll put up the three-point attempt. That one's off the mark, picked up by Bernice. Loose balls finally kicked out of bounds by the Sailors. 39-16 lead for the Sailors. as they break the Moffat County defense. Scranton inside to Nahara, turnaround jump shot. No good. Like the idea by Nahara though, he had a good look there. Rebound to the Sailors and another rebound. And another rebound and finally a foul. That's just where the height is getting to the Bulldogs. Too many white jerseys getting rebounds. It's killing the Bulldogs. 41-16. To the line goes the Sailors. Count it. Sailors shooting almost perfect from the free throw line tonight. Second attempt is up and good. Nahara to Scranton. Scranton back to Cook. 
Cook gives it to Bernice. Bernice drives the lane, puts it up, and gets it to fall. Bernice having a good night. That's eight for him. Three-point attempt for the Sailors. Count it. 46-18 lead. Cook going hard for the steal. I like the effort. Almost able to pick that pocket. Those loose balls go flying around. You don't know who has it. Bernice steps up, takes the shot. Back iron, no good. Bulldog ball. Bernice will inbounds for the Bulldogs. Gives it to Cook. Cook immediately puts it up. Looked like it might have got tipped. Falls short. And here come the Sailors. So many weapons on that Sailors team. You leave people open anywhere and they will take it. Loose ball picked up by Scranton. Goes left, goes right, drives in, tries to put it up. He draws the foul. That's how you run with the ball. Good job. And he finds himself at the free throw line. Free throws up and good. Two for three for Scranton from the line. 46-19, Sailors lead. Second free throws up and good. Scranton will come out. In comes Murphy. Beaver is able to pick up the steal. Good defense. Brent Cook will slow it down. Kicks it over to Murphy. To Beaver. Had a good look. Shots just off the mark. Rebound to the Sailors. And that foul is going to be on Steamboat. Moffat County ball. 5.04 left here in the third. Brent Cook breaks it himself, pass to Nahara. Nahara with a nice drive, eight foot jumper off the mark, picked up by Bernice. Puts it right back up from 10 feet out. And he's got another basket. Bernice now with 10 on the night. Three-point attempt, no good, air ball. Picked up by the Sailors, but they're gonna step on that line. Out of bounds, Bulldog ball. Murphy will throw it in for the Bulldogs. It goes to Bernice. Bernice to Beaver, Beaver back to Murphy. Not really ready for it. And the Sailors get it right back. Sailors bounce pass inside. Reverse layup, no good, rebound. Third attempt finally is gonna go and they're gonna count it. And to the line, it's Matt Mac Rinker, six foot four junior. Good rebound, Colby Beaver. Beaver outlets to Cook. Cook. Bulldogs moving it around well. Nice pass inside by Kel Scranton to Beaver, and Beaver finishes the job. That was a good look. 24 48, Bulldogs trail. Knock 
Knocked out of bounds by the Bulldogs. Steamboat Springs will throw it in from under. Three thirty-nine on the clock. Long cross-court pass. A little miscommunication there, and the Sailors throw it away. Bulldogs will get it, throw it in in front of the Steamboat bench. Brent Cook goes to drive. He puts it up. No good. Out of bounds on Moffat County. Loose ball picked up by Brent Cook if he can stay with it. Over to Beaver, good job. Beaver goes up, has the shot blocked by Steamboat. And we got a hold before the shot ever happened. And it's gonna be Steamboat ball in front of their bench throwing it out. 48-24. inside by the Sailors. Great ball movement. They're able to get a wide open guy cutting underneath. Ball gets knocked loose. Another turnover. Steamboat's going to take it. Court, court side to court, court one end to the other. They say the foul is on the floor and Steamboat's going to throw it out from underneath. 2.29 on the clock. Steamboat 50, Moffat County 24. Back on the court comes Chacon. And a little stoppage in play as we wait for the sub to come in. Now Harrell will go gets, get a break for a minute. And now we're ready to go. Steamboat tries to get it in right underneath. Great position there. Now with Steamboat, you get great position and you set yourself up for some easy buckets. Murphy drives, eight foot jumper. That's not gonna fall picked up by the Sailors. Like the idea by Murphy though, he had a good look. Couldn't get it to fall. Good job by Connor Murphy as he stands his ground and he'll take the charge and the Bulldogs get it back. Scranton Duber nice. I'll give it right back to Scranton. Bulldogs get it across midcourt. We'll start working that offense. Scranton drives hard. Tries to go baseline. Has a block by the big 6'4 guy. Hard to shoot over someone that tall. And a pass sells way too high and far for the Sailors and they give it right back to the Bulldogs. Bernice takes point as he brings it across midcourt. Drives to his right, has to kick it out to Murphy. Murphy puts up the three-point attempt. No good, off front iron. Rebound to Steamboat. Wide open underneath is the Sailors and they draw a foul and they're going to the line again.
First free throws up and good. Second free throw is up and good. And the Sailors now up by 30, their biggest lead of the game. 54-24, under a minute left here in the third. Bernice with the jump shot, no good. Picked up by Chacon, good rebounding by Jared Chacon. Nahara just off the mark. Sailors will slow it down for one last shot here. In the third, under 10 seconds. They work it inside. Ball's tipped out of there by Bernice. Three point attempt is gonna go no good. 54-24 is how the third's gonna end. I wanna say thank you to all of our sponsors for bringing you Moffat County High School basketball. Craig Family Dental, Severson Supply and Rental, Memorial Regional Health, Bank of Colorado, Victory Motors, Patton Enterprises, Miller Family Appliance, 3B Enterprises, Cornerstone Realty, GCR Tires and Service, Precision Auto Service, 360 Insurance Company, Mountain West Insurance, Kramer Flooring, McDonald's, Duran and Pierce Contractors, Cook Chevrolet Ford Subaru, Country Living Realty, Draper Insurance Group, Great Divide Cleaning Service, Chaos Inc., Young Life, Rocky Mountain Machinery, Eppin Associates, Rocky Mountain Automotive, Colorado Northwestern Community College, Identity Graphics, Craig Veterinary Hospital, Grass Key Realty, and Mountain Air Spray. Say thanks to all of our sponsors for bringing you Bulldog basketball right here on MoffettCountyProud.com. Kel Scranton will throw it in for the Bulldogs to start this final period of basketball. Bulldogs move it down low. Now they'll reverse it. Nahara, bank shot, he'll put it in. Nice shot by Nahara. Long pass all the way across to the corner. Sailors will bring it back out to the top of the key and set it back up. So many weapons on this Sailor team. They can shoot it from outside, and they can play tough inside with that height. Bulldogs will move it around. Murphy looks, bounce pass in, oh! Looked like somebody from the Sailors didn't get a number on that, but they brought in just too much and got Chacon's hand. And that puts them off a county in the one on one. Chacon going to the line. the front iron, no good. Gonna be Bulldog ball, good job. Case number nice is gonna throw it out from under. Got Chacon on, got Reed on. Reed, Scranton, uh, Bernice, and Scranton's actually gonna come off, Walls comes on. Nahara and Chacon. No good. And lane violation on Steamboat. So we'll do it again. Nahara gets another shot at it. See if he can take advantage. That 
That one is up and good. He's got one more. One and one, you make the first half, you get the second half. Make one, add one. 6.43 on the clock. And he takes advantage of that. Nails them both. 54-28. Three-point attempt by Steamboat, no good. Loose ball picked up by the Sailors. Bulldogs try to force the trap, great defense that time. They get the trap and they force the Sailors to step out of bounds, Bulldog ball. We're nice to read. And Torn Reed tries to get it to Walls. That gets stolen. And player down for a second. And looks to be okay. And some subs in for the Sailors. 5.56 on the clock. Sailors lead 54-28 here in the final period. Sub in for the Bulldogs. Off comes Bernice, on comes Hafey. <laughs> Sailors will work it around the top of the key. Sailors drive baseline, tries the reverse layup, no good. Rebound to the Sailors. Turnaround jump shot. Looked like to be blocked by Nahara, but he's going to get called with the foul. Going to be his fourth, I believe. First three throws up and good. I actually called that last foul on Tristan Walls, only his first. find their way to the bottom of the net. Steamboat Springs has shot absolutely amazing from the free throw line tonight. Only missed a couple, making everything. They shoot from inside and outside. Timeout on the floor. We'll be right back on MoffettCountyProud.com. Take it in with 5.33 on the clock. Murphy takes point. And going to get called with the double dribble as he loses it. Turnover comes right back to Steamboat. Ooh, able to hold on to it, almost threw it away. Reed down to Chacon. Walls cuts, nice fake. Bank shot in, Tristan Walls with a nice shot, his first points of the game. Wide open three point attempt, no good. Rolls around, can't fall, gets his own rebound. Kicks it out, three point attempt, no good. And another rebound for the Sailors. Bulldogs need to work hard on getting some boards here. Too many attempts for the Sailors. 58-30, Sailor lead. Rebound for 
the Sailors. Got to give it to Steamboat. Good finish on that. Heads up play. They get the foul and the basket. 60 to 30. 345 on the clock. And Steamboat continues to drain those free throws. Brent Cook will take it down for the Bulldogs. Over to Walls. Cook with the pump fake and the drive. He's able to draw the foul. Nice drive by Brent Cook, and he's going to go to the free throw line. First free throw's good. Second free throw, bounces around, no good. Almost rebounded by Beaver, good effort in there. And it does go off a Sailor and the Bulldogs are gonna get it right back. Into Cook, immediately shoots the three. Off the mark, fighting for that rebound is about four different players and they say it's off a bulldog hand, steamboat ball. Big mismatch inside. Nice drive by the Sailors. Cook brings it down, gives it to Reed. Reed shoots a deep three. Almost goes, doesn't quite fall though. Nice turnaround bank shot by the Sailors. Count it, 65-31. Brent Cook doesn't waste any time. He drives the lane, has it stripped from him. They're going to call jump ball and going to be steamboat ball. ball. 65-31, 2.23 on the clock. Nice drive by the Sailors, rebounded by Walls. Reed tries to drive the lane, gives it to Beaver. Beaver getting tied up, fights his way out of it. Loose ball, finally picked up by Beaver. He'll give it to Caden, he'll shoot the deep three, just off the front of the iron, picked up by the Sailors. Three-point attempt by the Sailors, no good. Picked up by Reed, breaking fast, and finally slows it down. Gives it to Beaver. Beaver tries to drive, has it stolen. And Moffat County ball. 114 on the clock, 65-31. High pass, coast to coast goes the Sailors, no good. And another foul is gonna stop the clock at 105. Gonna send Steamboat to the line. Puts them in the one-on-one. -on -one. 
66-31. Second attempt up and good. Beaver into Reed. Reed takes a deep three, no good. Fighting for the rebound. The Sailors come up with it, but they step out of bounds and Moffat County is going to get it back. I've chased Cross in the game now for the Bulldogs as well. Into Hafey. Passes into Beaver. Another turnover. There's been a lot of turnovers tonight for the Bulldogs. seconds on the clock. Sailors bringing it down. That's how it's going to end, folks. 67-31. Sailors win. Bulldogs gave it all they had. They never, no give up in the Bulldogs as they went hard the entire game. I want to say thank you to all of our sponsors, Craig Family Dental, Severson Supply and Rental, Memorial Regional Health, Bank of Colorado, Victory Motors, Satin Enterprises, Miller Family Appliance, 3B Enterprises, Cornerstone Realty, GCR Tires and Service, Precision Auto Service, 360 Insurance Company, Mountain West Insurance, Kramer Flooring, McDonald's, Duran and Pierce Contractors, Cook Chevrolet, Ford and Subaru, Country Living Realty, Draper Insurance Group, Great Divide Cleaning Service, Chaos Inc., Young Life, Rocky Mountain Machinery, Eppin Associates, Rocky Mountain Automotive, Colorado Northwestern Community College, Identity Graphics, Craig Veterinary Hospital, Brass Key Realty, Mountain Air Spray. I want to say thank you to all of our sponsors. Make sure that you see them and you say, hey, thanks for, support thanks for supporting our players at Moffat County High School. It wasn't what we wanted, but they gave it all they had. Thanks for watching Bulldog Basketball right here on MoffatCountyProud.com.